you could actually learn a system of understanding by which you can understand how you create happiness in yourself and how you create unhappiness. You can actually go from misery to delight, from depression to inner peace, from hate to love. Hi, my name is Bears. I am very excited to sort of talk with you about something really simple to understand, but somehow it seems really controversial for lots of people, which is the idea, it's actually the title of one of my books, called Happiness is a Choice. Interestingly enough, when the book was being published, the editors at this major publishing company that was going to bring the book to the public, even though I had previous books, they really objected to this particular book, most specifically because of the title. They were thinking people could get really upset with that title because none of them in the room believed happiness was a choice. For them, it was almost like it fell from the sky and hit them on the head, or somehow they caught it like you catch a cold. So many of us have studied architecture, we've studied physics, we study mathematics, we study grammar, we study literature. How many of us have really decided, hey, the most important thing to study on the planet is me. Happiness is actually a choice. You could actually learn a system of understanding by which you can understand how you create happiness in yourself and how you create unhappiness. It's all based on beliefs. And if you learn how to change those beliefs, you can actually go from misery to delight, from depression to inner peace, from hate to love. I remember years ago when I was in undergraduate and graduate school, part of my studies, but part of my exploration, is I went into something at that time called psychoanalysis. And in psychoanalysis, it was based on a belief system that basically you had an unconscious, you had a subconscious. So much of yourself was beyond your control. And so as I studied myself through this lens, there was whole areas of myself that I couldn't seem to figure out because I believed much of it was beyond my control. And then I remember when I was graduating from these analytic sessions, I said to the person working with me, you know, I'm still scared. I still get angry. I am still confused. I still get worried. And then he smiled at me and laughed and he said, that's the human condition. I remember saying to myself, oh my gosh, I want to go in a completely different direction. I want to somehow contemplate the possibility that actually you could create sustained happiness, that actually you could love people in a sustainable way, that it's not sort of fleeting experiences outside of your control, which then you feel like a victim, but it's actually within your control. Years later, because we are participating in a teaching center called the Option Institute and also something called the Autism Treatment Center of America. There was a very famed person in the Freudian analytic community who came for a program here. And she was really excited by what she was learning, but then at the end it contradicted so much of what she had learned, the notion of choice versus it happens to you. And then she said to me, did you consider or ever consider that maybe your major premise is completely wrong. So I thought about it for a moment and I said, I believed that I was gonna put aside the notion of unconscious and subconscious and I decided that everything in myself is knowable. Soon as I decided that, when I would question myself, I suddenly had answers where I didn't have answers before. And once I had answers, I created more understanding and the more I understood, the more I was able to change core beliefs and then ultimately really significantly change myself. Now, I then went out and started to teach people the same construct. And people come from all over the world to the Option Institute, and I notice them now adopting the belief, it's just make-believe, that they can understand everything about themselves. Once they do, they then seem to understand and get more personal information from themselves about themselves 
and then make great changes. So what occurs to me in terms of that woman's question is, no, I didn't consider whether my major premise was wrong. One of the things I do know is that it works. It worked for me. It worked and continues to work for thousands of people. So my thought would be, I'd rather be happy and right.